Well, here I am on the side of the road and uh, there's a dog barking <laughs> but he's not coming over here so I'm okay but uh, I'm standing over here in front of this look that you're probably saying well I don't know why you're at City Hall you, you're not the mayor or nothing you and uh, I'm not but uh, I came here to visit because this is Church Point and uh, let me show you on the sign here look that yep it's it's church point and you see buggy capital usa on there and there's a buggy on there there's a, a accordion and all kind of all kind of instruments and stuff but um we're going to go inside church point city hall town hall <laughs> city town hall because uh they got something inside here that's pretty cool and which will give you an idea why they call it uh, buggy capital uh-huh yep you heard me and look that as soon as we walk in we see a buggy and we also see some signs because they're doing some other things in town uh projects beautifying things and making things look fancy like the gate there they except we're not coming they'll probably have that closed uh you know i'm just used to that though but uh this is a big sign that's being built as we speak um, and I'll show you all that in a little while for real to how it looks But this is a buggy This is a real buggy. This is probably what you think of when you think of a buggy and it, You can see it's pretty small. Here's my hand for scale, but um, You can see it's a uh, it's not real wide It's either for two very small people or one big person could ride in that pretty good and it's kind of neat because uh, these buggies you might not know it but the front wheels turn they don't turn like a car but the whole thing the whole axle turns and you can see in the middle there that's the uh, the connection for that there's no steering wheel the way it turns is because the horse goes a different direction when you when you're riding in it and look over there over in the corner watch this see first you see this and we're gonna see that in a little while but uh and then you see this this is a bigger one this is the family model the family truckster model <laughs> and uh I'll, I'll give you all a reading t uh reading test in just a minute but um one thing if you look underneath here on the ground there's some uh some some pieces parts down there and that's actually you hook that to the front of the buggy and then between those long poles there that's where the horse goes <laughs> so you see just like that other one it, it connects onto here that's what this is it connects onto there and onto there and that whole thing turns kind of hard to show you kind of <laughs> whenever the horse turns the whole deal in the front turns not the individual wheels so it's kind of a different way of looking at it you don't think about that until you see that huh you but uh you can see this is a fancy one you see got a little, little window in the back behind the giant finger and uh all padded leather, rich Corinthian leather, leather and all that. <laughs> uh, there's some other things too. See, and it's got some carpet. That's not an original old time carpet, but they probably had something in there. Maybe even more like a blanket back in the day. Who knows for sure? Cause that was a long time ago. And the wooden spoke wheels. But this one has some modern touches on it like the uh look that this looks like a little face <laughs> but it's got the reflectors and everything but you can see also uh it's a convertible 
because all that that top folds down and all that so you can get some sun if you get going out get suntan while you ride around but uh here here's the uh the spelling and pronunciation test you, you know if you know how to say that name correctly you're doing pretty good <laughs> it's it's not Latio lace <laughs> like some people might think is Lachale but uh, this actually belonged to their family and they it's it's over here in the city hall now but here's another little little uh, mechanical tip for you see this it was pulled by horses but it actually has a brake a lot of wagons had brakes and you can see down there that's the brake pad there but to make it stop see it's all connected to here and, and follow the giant finger and it goes along here and then it's got a handle up here and you to stop you grab that and you pull that and it pull that and push that and stop that tar so that's how that works there'll be a test on that later and look that this is a real different one look that <laughs> That's a, a kid size, uh, that's more of a carriage, but you could call it a buggy if you want to. It's not a baby buggy. It's a, not a really a baby carriage because <laughs> it's, it's too big for a baby because it would probably fall out. But a, a little kid could sit on there. See, you sit up here and you, to drive it and you sit back there to uh, w ride around with your little top hat on and look fancy for people. But man, it's even got little little lights and everything on it. That's pretty cool. That's all like real leather and stuff. The seats and all that's made out of. Look that. That's fancy. Yeah. Look that. Look that. Now that's a fancy one there. That's more of a carriage than a buggy, but you could call it a buggy if you want to. I'm not gonna correct you too much. But that's a nice one there. That's fancy where you had your driver and your driver's helper and your assistant, assistant driver's helper could all sit up in the, right there. And this one, uh, the parts for the horse didn't, didn't come off all the way. You could fold them up, see that big pole goes up. You drop those down and you put your horse between there and hook them up. And look, there's all the steering mechanism and all that. Look at that. That's getting way fancy in there. Hey, look in here. Now this belonged to a doctor. And it's like, well, that says a lot about being a doctor. <laughs> you gotta have a, a buggy like this. But that's who who this belonged to. And I'm obeying the rules. I'm not opening doors or it was already open when I got here. It was like that. I promise, I swear. <laughs> but and I haven't played on it either. And I I'm I promise not to. I'm not gonna play on it. It's tempting though. And uh, this one has real glass in that back window there. But this one hadn't been modernized. It don't have the reflectors and all that. So it, it hadn't been out on the open road in a while. But uh, these are a couple of other interesting things in here. Because they got a big tapestry about all the uh, stuff around Church Point. And they got this cool uh, shoe shine stand if people come in with, with shoes that need to be shined. Not too many people wear shiny shoes anymore. But that's pretty cool. And they got the secret compartment down there where you can keep all your valuables and your shoe shining rags and all that. But these are some buildings around Church Point. Some of these I, I think are gone now, but some I think are still here. And just a little ways away from uh, the town hall there, we got uh, this the depot, the old depot and everything. It's like a park now. There's all kind of stuff over here. There's, there's some places over there with some stuff. And, uh, <laughs> and but look that.
and this is still under construction too. They did, they hadn't got the roof on there yet. Well, that's gonna be a covered playground, uh, so people like me won't get too sunburned when we go on there. And uh, that's even this is pretty cool. They even got a wheelchair swing. If you never seen one of those, uh, this is how it works. You, you you can get a wheelchair on there and park it and swing that you. Uh, the other thing I came to see is inside here. Now, it's not uh, opened up right now, but that's okay. Because they got windows on there for a reason, so you can see inside you. And uh, so we go look inside. Try to do some shadow. Oh, look what we see in there. Look that. That's another, another buggy. Well, a kind of smaller one, like that first one we looked at. Uh, from 1862 look that and in the background it's kind of hard to see in the background there's this um, it's this big canvas uh, like a poster thing kind of like they would have I think this was actually from a theater see where you can see that a little bit more and uh, back in the olden days when they in the in the theater they would have these as like either the curtain or background or something and local businesses would buy a space on it to advertise and so there's all kind of places on there uh, i don't know if, how many of them are still around not too many uh, i don't think but they're all local businesses from way back in the buggy days but yeah here we are this is in the middle shows that that's the the buggy we're looking at wait that's a, oh it's a really giant finger now that's a <laughs> that's the the buggy we saw first in there and uh and over here when i make a shadow you can see that buggy uh on this side that's more like what you would call a surrey i think uh i just because i think the way the top is made because you see the top's got them little fringes on it, make it fancy and all. And uh, it's a little more proper, or prim and proper, or fancy. It, so needless to say, I, I would never be allowed to ride on one of those. But uh, I'm going to scoot over to the other window. We can see the side of it a little bit. Yep, and there it is. It looks pretty cool with that background behind it, that big canvas thing. But look at that. We're getting all kind of shadows and shiny things. and <laughs> This is challenging. I'll tell you what, I need, need bigger hands. There we go. Ooh, we're getting some shadow now. But uh, you can see that buggy. That was pretty fancy. That was nice. And here we go. Uh, we're going down past the depot that's on the the left over there and we're gonna see what else we can find because there's other things oh and look I, I didn't I was too dumb to know but uh, look there's the gate that's the big gate that was in that picture they showed it is finished hello think make fly think <laughs> but that's the gate right there and this is the big park and it goes on back Oh, and they got a hysterical marker for Irie Lejeune. He was a musician back in the day. A very famous Cajun musician. And there's a cool old steam tractor that's on display. And behind it is the, uh, the Le Vieux Presbyter Museum. But you keep going. It's like Church Point's got one of the world's longest parks, I think. Because you keep going, this is all kind of park, and then you keep going and you get to that. Look that! Look that! And it's a pond, and they got little squirting things and fountain things and all that. And uh, you can go over there, and they got things to see and do. And uh, it's all kind of stuff around Church Point. And you're probably wondering, it's like, well, you you don't not from Church Point, you so how you know all that stuff, which uh, is all wrong. <laughs> For the most part it's wrong uh, a lot of stuff i say is wrong but uh i'm looking at the uh the steam tractor over there 
because you can see inside see that you can see inside and I saw some light in there I don't think anybody's in there but uh anyway it's like I, I'd, I'd like to go look inside it real close but the ground's still real wet we had a lot of rain recently and this is all brand new all this stuff so you can see all that all that dirt all that mud mud dirt the grass is just trying to start to grow a little bit but uh yeah the, the reason why they um have such a, a bunch of buggies around here is because uh like they say it's a buggy capital and all that but and i don't know what's going to happen with this years ago they used to have uh, a buggy festival and if you had a buggy you could bring that and ride that around there and look there's a cool chair for me to sit on i'm gonna sit on the chair it's a bench actually but uh i call everything the wrong name they had the uh all the uh the buggies and everything that would come in and they had a festival and all and it kind of fell apart oh i don't know a long time ago hey, every once in a while somebody talks about bringing it back so maybe one day they'll bring it back but in the meantime the uh town of, of church point still embraces that history of the buggies and how important it was the buggies were to the people around here uh, church point is in acadia parish and for those of you who aren't from louisiana you you don't know what I, you have no idea what i'm talking about now uh, acadia parish it's uh, a in louisiana we're the only state that doesn't have counties we have parishes <laughs> so there and that's all you got to know um, so yeah this acadia parish is a fairly uh, rural parish a lot of farms and that kind of stuff and we uh back in the day uh buggies were a big thing buggies and wagons that's what everybody used and from what i understand that that was still going on up until like the 1940s and 50s people would still come to town in a buggy so and they're not amish that's, that's a whole different deal but um anyway uh church point latched onto that and and uh made the the buggy a kind of a, a symbol of the town and everything and had the festival and all that and uh it's renewed interest in it you could say and a lot of renewed interest in the local history it it with the steam tractor and the presbyterians back there the big house uh, and uh it's it's pretty cool they put a lot of effort into this and there's gonna be more and more things going on uh around church point from what i understand one thing that does continue going on is a uh, cajun woodstock and uh that's a big like music festival and stuff like that and um i can put a little link thing down in the, the notes there if i can remember how to do that me um uh, I'll put that down there so y'all can look at that and see when uh, the next cage of Woodstock is. So maybe you could come to Church Point, look at some buggies, and listen to some music and, and have some fun. And maybe there'll be some grass growing out here in the, uh, on the ground. And uh, you'll be able to walk on that you. And this is the building that was in the background a little while ago. Uh, the Presbyter. This is where the priest used to live that uh, handled the church over here, the Catholic church. And it's all been restored. It's all fixed up and everything. The only thing is, let's see. I don't think they're open right now, even though it says we're open, but I don't think anybody's here. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go inside, but one day, one day we gotta go inside and look around because they have some neat stuff and i think there's a buggy inside somewhere believe it or not i think there is one inside there so we have to find that us and look that see if you can read that you would know that uh it's also uh, a historic place right here that that place right there is a historic place and you can see the little cross up at the top and look that that's the uh 
the real version behind the giant hand and finger uh, that's the real version of the sign that they had a picture of at uh, town, the town hall by the buggies and uh, that's as far as they got so far but you can see they got plenty of materials around there to get it all finished up and they got some stuff to do on the front but that's looking pretty cool so far look that there it is that's the back of the sign but it's gonna uh, uh, I think I forgot what it said on it it's gonna have a saying on there and everything that's gonna look pretty cool huh check back soon for more look that